That special and unbeatable feeling of match day is in the air and the knowledge that this is all the makings of a vibrant and compelling encounter. Anticipation levels are sky high and every expectation this game will live up to its billing. Don't miss a single second of the action. It's all live on EA TV. Hello from one of the great venues in world football, the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu in Madrid. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one, my goodness, so much to look forward to. It's Real Madrid up against Stuttgart. Well, Derek, although the hosts are clear favourites, this could prove to be a tricky game for them, unless they score an early goal, because their opponents will sit deep, remain compact and defend with determination. They also pose a threat on the counter-attack and are really good at set plays. It's going to be an interesting one. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Now a decent position. Mendy. Nicely timed tackle. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, Derek, we know he can be subtle, he can be clever, but his greatest strength is his power when he's shooting. He's a tremendous striker of the ball, and he makes it really difficult for goalkeepers. Carvajal. Rodrigo. Can he put them in front? But it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. Well, what a chance to take the lead, and doesn't he know it? But will they get a better one than that? And taken short. And they win the throw following that challenge. Vinicius. Now the cut back. Oh, great block. Nacho Fernandez. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Aurelia Chuameni. Camavinga. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Atakan Karazor. Can he find the right pass? Excellent vision. Really good block. Really good build up, but no end product. This could be dangerous. Jude Bellingham Carvajal Rodrigo Rodrigo and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end and slipped through beautifully Moving the ball nicely, but can they forge ahead? Magnificent challenge to win it back. Chouameni and Valverde. Eduardo Camavinga. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. Vinicius Junior. But it's great when you can rely on your keeper. Stiller. Chris Fury. And the attack looks promising.
Skinner. Chance to play it in. And quick thinking defensively. Valverde. Valdemar Anton. Karazor. And Stuttgart come away with it. Carvajal. Valverde. Camavinga. Clean challenge. This attack looks highly promising. Oh, that surely had to go in, but marvellous defending. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. Playing it in. Well, not quite the ideal delivery. And the first half is in the history books here at the Bernabeu. Well, the story as far as Jude Bellingham is concerned, a struggle for him to make an impact. Well, he's been very quiet so far. He just hasn't got away from his marker. He needs to find a spark from somewhere and start testing this goalkeeper. Second half excitement to come, we hope, here at the Bernabeu. And Bellingham. Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure and his movement so clever. Once he gets onto it, he's only one foot in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Well, what delight for Ancelotti. That's just what he wanted. So the match has restarted. One nil here. Vinicius Junior. Carvajal. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Carvajal. Maximilian Mittelstedt. Fury. And do they mean business on this occasion? A chance to whip it in. Well, strong play here. And crossed in the direction of the back post. Managed to get it out of there. Eduardo Camavinga. Aurelien Chouameni. Nice looking pass. Vinicius Junior. It's a perfect challenge. Wonderful challenge. And a throw in coming up. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. Good physical play. Chris Fury. Useful looking position, you've got to say. 
could play it in and ready to strike he's blocked it substitution for Real Madrid so the corner played into the box and clearing it away Well, there's the pullback. Splendid defending. Over the touchline for what will be a Real Madrid throw. Eder Militao. Rudiger. Now with Bellingham. Almost weighing up the opposition with a string of neat passes. Well, good run and good ball control. Did really well to get through. Cuts it back. Look at Modric. Look at Modric. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench <laughs> who's going to get on the end of it danger still on Vinicius That's a good-looking shot. Well, the goalkeeper is thankful that it wasn't a better effort than it actually was. Ten minutes left for play. Well, just listen to the noise in here. These fans are doing everything to get their team over the finish line, and there's not long left now. Well, the defenders know they need to get tighter. Can't really allow runs like that. This could be the equaliser. But no, when your goalkeeper comes up with a save like that late in the game, you have cause to be thankful. Well, that could be a key moment. They have to take those sort of chances. They won't get too many more, but let's credit the goalkeeper. And over it comes. Not away completely. Well, nothing comes of it. Nacho Fernandez. Mendy has it. Mendy. Valverde. He must finish. And it goes to increase their advantage. And will that the goal that ends up securing it for them. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. moving again, 2-0 is how it stands well adding up all the stoppages we will have two extra minutes Rudiger and there goes the final whistle a home defeat to begin the group stage and they're going to have to make up for this in future games well it's not the start they wanted it puts them under a bit of pressure going into the next game they need to bounce back now I think it's fair to say he'll be happy with his own contribution in this game, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him.